Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Mr. Shenanigans himself and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there. Welcome to, to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. I'm going to come out. I'm going to bring to you the semi live reaction to uh, the semi live reaction to SmackDown, the final SmackDown of uh, before uh, Backlash tomorrow. And it takes place in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And, and also the fallout from, from the draft. And the WWE draft. And we'll kick it off with the LWO remains on SmackDown. Kicking, kicking things off. Rey Mysterio, the Hall of Famer. Joaquin Wilde. Cruz del Toro. Santos Escobar. And the lovely Zelina Vega. And um, Rey Mysterio addresses the crowd. The San Juan crowd in Spanish as, you know, custom. So... I thought that was super cool. He basically was trying. Uh, basically, I can't. I don't know Spanish very well, but I can't interpret. Basically, just in a nutshell, he's probably talking about, talking about you know they're looking forward to seeing Bad Bunny kicking uh, Damian Priest's butt tomorrow night, and they're looking forward to seeing Zelina Vega take home the SmackDown Women's Championship. Judgment Day in Judgment Day fashion decides to interrupt interrupt the two of them, and Dominic Mysterio insults his dad like he always does. Oh my God. And then, Ray, and then, all of a sudden, Ray Mysterio says, "How about you and me a WrestleMania rematch?" And then Ray Ripley says, "How come you face me instead?" And then all of a sudden, Zelina Vega stood up and said, "I invite both of us into a mixed tag match." And so, so that could be happening. So that's the way it stands right now. Also, right, uh, also coming up next, the OC members: Luke Gallows, Carlson doing, do, going to battle against the Viking Raiders. This is going to be a barn burner brawl, kids. Better watch out. So, that's coming up next. So, um, I'll give you the results of that matchup and and whatever happens next after after that matchup. So, stay tuned. Hang in there. Well, it is uh, the match is officially set. The mixed tag match between uh, Zelina Vega and Rey Mysterio versus Rey Ripley and Dominic Mysterio is on for tonight. That could be the main event. For uh, Friday Night SmackDown, as you know, the Viking Raiders taking on the OC. As you know, this is the fin um, final match. Is the draft, the draft will, uh, the draft rosters will kick in um, this coming Monday, and and we're gonna find out tomorrow what the World Heavyweight Title picture is going to be like. And in, in we heard rumors about a tournament going on. Who is involved in the tournament? How the tournament's gonna be played out? Who knows for sure? Uh, so yeah, right now it's a big barn burner brawl between the OC and the Viking Raiders. Heck of a, heck of a fight, really. So, uh, so far, so like, again, we'll give you the results of that matchup and whatever um, happens next. So, uh, um, yeah, keep hanging there, keep watching, and uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, I mean, let me check. I know the Red Sox are leading three nothing over the defending National League champs, the Philadelphia Phillies, up three to one. That's okay. Let's get get some outs there, Sale. Get some outs. All right, so. Uh, I will uh, catch up with you guys, and, and uh, we'll see what happens, all right? So, uh, so uh, check, uh, check you guys later. All right, and the result ends in that matchup. Now, Valhalla tried to get herself involved in this tag team matchup. Ami, Chin, Mi, A.M., even up the score, giving the Good Brothers a chance to hit the Magic Killer on Big Ivar. One, two, three. Now, here's... Now, here's how this um, World Heavyweight title uh, tournament was going to work. There will be two different tournaments, one from Raw, one from SmackDown. Whoever wins these two tournaments from the respective brands, they will they will collide, they will go at it at Night of Champions, the final, um, the fi the final Saturday of May, Night of Champions. They will collide. To, just, to crown a new World Heavyweight Champion. Now, if the SmackDown Superstar wins that World Heavyweight title, they'll have to come to Raw. So, that's going to be an opp mere opportunity as well. So, anything can happen in this rate in time. Bianca Belair is going to come up next. She's not just to compete. Looks like she's going to address her um, Raw Women's title situation 
with Miss EO Sky. So we'll find out what that's all about when we come um, come back. However, uh, however, hmm, that looks good. Papa John's figures. All right, what's the score for the Red Sox? Oh, the Phillies have tied it up. Uh, oh, boy. So, uh, so we'll see what Bianca Belair has to say to Miss EO Sky, the lovely EO Sky, coming up next. All right, so Bianca Belair addresses the San Juan Puerto Rico crowd about um, her matchup against the lovely EO Sky for the Raw Women's Championship. Uh, and if she beats EO Sky, she'll be the longest reigning women's champion in modern day history. The Dan is usual in their own kind of fashion, in your usual kind of fashion, damage control interrupted. Miss Bianca Belair saying that how EO Sky is going to take the title and Bailey and Dakota Kai would focus on becoming the women's tag team champions. So they surrounded the ring. They surrounded uh, Miss Belair. Miss Belair tried to fight him off. They started jumping her. And then before you know, Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan got involved, chasing them out of the ring. And all three ladies in that ring stood up with their titles held high and... And damage control picking up and starts yelling and squawking again. Then you got Karen Cross addressing his, his matchup against Shinsuke Nakamura before Nakamura heads over to Monday Night Raw. A, a fight between those two gentlemen. It'll be a very interesting matchup. Up next, the Street Profits will take on Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser Imperium. And I wouldn't be not surprised if Gunta would not be far behind. As you know, Gunt, in fact, Imperium will be having the money, having the money at Raw. But Gunta, with the Intercontinental title, like I said, it's going to be a threat to any championship. According to the World Heavyweight title, will he be part of the tournament? I, I imagine so. So we'll see what happens then. All right. So, uh, so that's coming up next. Street Profits versus Imperium. I'll give you the results of that matchup. And... And uh, we uh, then then whatever happens after that. So uh, hang in there, hang tight, and uh, we'll be right back. And uh, I'm gonna watch some more SmackDown. All right, before we got to the Street Profits Imperium match with the Usos and Solo Sokoa, um, talking in the locker room, and the Usos do more of the talking. And uh, then after uh, you know. After Souls of Gold did not answer his older brother, uh, Jimmy, Jay goes, my brother, don't ask you a question. I heard the question, he said. I'll do my part, and you two better do yours. He made a few words. So, so there you go. And Street Province Imperium, heck of a matchup. Imperium heading over to Monday Night Raw. And, uh... Well, the Street Profits are on SmackDown, and it was a heck of a matchup, and Street Profits did win. I'm sure Gunta will not be very happy, but however, coming up next, looks like Cody Rhodes is going to address the San Juan Puerto Rico crowd. This is going to be very, very interesting, to say the least. So, um, that's coming up next. We'll hang in there. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens in this situation. We've got a few more matches. We know the mixed tag match could be the main event. Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega of the LWO teaming up against Ray Ripley and Dominic Mysterio of Judgment Day. we still got Shinsuke Nakamura going one-on-one with Karrion Cross, And there's going to be a lot more stuff happening. So we'll, we shall see what happens next. Well, Cody Rhodes did address the San Juan Puerto Rico crowd about Brock Lesnar. And he vows to defeat. Brock Lesnar at um, tomorrow night at Backlash. Meanwhile, uh, Kayla Braxton interviewed Mr. Shinsuke Nakamura as his wrestled in his final match on SmackDown before heading to Monday Night Raw this Monday after the draft. And he says he, you know, Kayla Braxton has he say, "Yeah, I got one thing to say to him. Come on!" So that match is coming up next. Shinsuke Nakamura going one on one with Karrion Cross. We'll see what happens in that matchup. Give you the results of that matchup and whatever. Comes away after that, so uh, hang tight and uh, we'll be there. The Red Sox are up five to three. By the way, the Red Sox are n- are not quitting anytime soon. Uh, Jin- uh, 
Matt Riddle and the Undisputed Tag Champions Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn addressed the bloodline. And they said, well, that's all we needed to say. And uh, then... Then uh, Shinsuke Nakamura and Karrion Cross is, is in progress right now. Looks like uh, Karrion Cross has got control of the matchup. We shall see what happens after this matchup. As you know, the main event will be that mixed tag match. Rey Mysterio teaming up with Zelina Vega against the SmackDown Women's Champion. Rey Ripley and Dominic Mysterio of the Judgment Day. We'll find out what happens during that matchup when we come back right after this. And the ending result of that matchup between Shinsuke Nakamura and Karrion Cross, Shinsuke Nakamura will pick up the win over Karrion Cross, despite the fact that Scarlett tried to provide distraction and run interference in the matchup, to say the least. So Shinsuke Nakamura will pick up that momentum heading to his new home on Monday Night Raw. Still the main event, coming around, Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega of the LWO to take care of business against the Judgment Days, Ray Ripley, the SmackDown Women's Champ, and Dominic Mysterio. We'll find out. The results of that matchup and any any other things are happening coming up next. Well, I think I, I think I told you the results of the uh, cross Nakamura matchup with Shinsuke Nakamura picking up the victory, and they're taking a look at the NXT superstars that have been drafted over to SmackDown: uh, Alba Fire and and Isla Dawn, Cameron Grimes, Pretty Deadly, yes boy. And Grayson Waller will be heading to SmackDown. In fact, Cameron Grimes was talking to Adam Pierce. Uh, Adam Pierce welcoming him to SmackDown. And then Baron Corbin, who was an undrafted free agent, runs his mouth, inter- interrupts, and disrespects Pierce and Grimes. Grimes about had enough and started, you know, making jokes about how. But then he says, "You know what? Okay, how about this? You and me next week. Uh, you and me on SmackDown." And then all of a sudden, and Adam Pierce says, "I like the, I like the idea. In fact, let's make it next week." So, Cameron Grimes will, will make his SmackDown debut next week as he goes one-on-one with Baron Corbin. So, that's going to be a lot of fun. So, Cameron Grimes to the moon. I can't wait for that matchup. But the main event is arrived, ladies and gentlemen, as Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega of the LWO to team up against the Judgment Days, Ray, the SmackDown Women's Champ, Rhea Ripley, and the son of Rey Mysterio, Dominic Mysterio, a.k.a. Dom Dom. I call him Dum Dum because he's Dum Dum. Dum Dum, give me Gum Gum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Dum Dum, you give me Dum Gum. Alrighty then. I will. Uh, we will check out that matchup and the results and see how the Red Sox are doing because I want to know. And we're in commercial. All right. I think they were up five, five to three. So the Red Sox are trying to go for another win. I think for their seventh straight win. And uh, and Masataka Yoshida's got a 15 game hitting streak. Yeah, so I'm doing wrestling and I'm reporting on the Red Sox. How about that? So I'll see you guys around for this matchup. I'll give you the results of the main event, and then we're going to go head over to NXT Level Up. Well, the matchup between. Uh, Selena Vega and Rey Mysterio versus uh, Ray Ripley and Ray's son Dominic is underway right now. Judgment Day's got control of the matchup and uh, and everything else in between. So uh, it'll be a heck of a, um, it'll, um, it'll be a heck of a matchup to say the least. Well, we'll give you the results and and, and conclude the video right for right now of this matchup, and then we're going to go over to watch some. NXT level up. So, um, hang in there, kids. We're almost there. All right, the LWOs won the matchup, and then uh, everybody else gets involved. Damian Priest got involved. Bad Bunny and the rest of the LWO came to even the side, and they stood tall in the end. And all of a sudden, now Bad Bunny's an official member of the LWO. Ray Mysterio gave him a t-shirt. You gotta love that. All right, we're gonna go over to uh, NXT level up to see what's up. Alrighty then, uh, we're talking to NXT, Oro Mensa in, in a victory over Kale Dixon, that'll be, and, so that's, so Oro Mensa form, then formerly known as Oliver Carter, meanwhile, uh, Kelly K.K. interviewed Boa, and Boa looks like, uh, he's, uh, he's facing Eddie Thorpe in the main event of NXT, 
of NXT level up. Coming up next is Thea Hale going one on one with the lovely Lola Vice to see what Thea Hale can do right after this. Oh, by the way, Red Sox won seven in a row against Philly. Coming up next is the lovely ladies of NXT in action. All right, the conclusion of that matchup between Thea Hale and Lola Vice, the ever hyper and lovely Thea. Ve Thea, uh, Thea Hale picked up the victory over the lovely Lola Vice. It was a great matchup while Duke Hudson was too busy shining his trophy. Up next, Eddie Thorpe goes one-on-one -on -one with the returning Boa. Will Eddie Thor Thorpe, uh, Thorpe Strong style uh, a prevail over Boa's martial arts deadly style? We'll find out right after this. All right, to conclude this video, Eddie Thorpe remains undefeated as he defeats Boa. Boa at NXT level up. Time to move the ladder with with the NXT women's division wide open. You know, lady, um, young lady like Thea Hale is going to be stepping up to the plate, and because the women's tag team titles and the women's cha championship are going over to the main roster, see what happens in this situation. I'm sure those titles will be vacant come this Tuesday. We'll see. And actually, the women's title is vacant. The women's tag team title probably will be vacant too. So, that's it. Episode 549 of Eric Lee Machine Against 1977 is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tomorrow, I'll be making my picks and predictions on um, Backlash as um, we'll get going. So, and remember, the Shenanig Arcade is right around the corner, ladies and gentlemen. So, until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, please take us. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production. And in association with a sweet bowl for raving dingleberries, telepictures, and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now.